Right guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be making this packet of crisps illusion cake. So first thing that we're gonna do is start off with our cake. You wanna carve it down to roughly the height that you want. It's good to have a packet of crisp next to you and then start to try and replicate the shape. So you wanna to undercut towards the board or whatever base you're using so that it gives this 3D illusion. You don't want it flat to the board. And do that all the way around. And then we're gonna to start to cut some grooves into the middle. These are gonna replicate like creases in the sort of foil packet do a few more we want to kind of like get sharp contrasting edges so that it's not smooth on top you don't want anywhere to be too round once you're happy with that cover the whole thing with chocolate ganache or you could use buttercream but I always use ganache what I've done now is I've colored some white sugar paste red using spectrum flow water base red mix that into the white create this red and then I've covered the cake and I'm just going to slowly start to mould all those shapes that I've made using this little Dresden tool and just to accentuate the little creases and ridges that I made earlier. All of this is important to get the sharp sort of effect that the foil would have. You want things to be flat and contrasted. Think like a rocky sort of mountain kind of effect on top. Now onto the airbrushing. I'm using strawberry red and I'm airbrushing all over, but I'm trying to keep a bit of a low angle around a 30 degree angle this way as you can see at the top of those ridges it's left a highlight really where there's no um, red airbrush so that gives a nice depth effect now I'm going to work on the logo at the top so first of all I'm using one of these Sugarcraft pens or this edible ink in these pens just to give me the outline and then I'm going to use Spectrum Flow water based colours to sort of colour in around these letters. So I'm using water base yellow and strawberry red again to paint in here. I've now added some Spectrum Flow water-based black to my brush and I'm starting to add in some depth and dark shadows around the letters and around the sides. Without cleaning the brush also then if you sort of mix around with the red and the yellows you can get these darker shades of yellow, almost a brown. I'm going to do the same now with the image of the potatoes that's on the bottom. So again, drawing the lines with these edible ink felt it pens. And then again, I'm gonna color the background in and all the shading using Spectrum Flow yellow, water-based, and red, and a bit of black to create these yellowy brown shades.
Once these are done, I'm going to cut round them so that they can be applied onto the cake. So I want the surface that I'm painting on to be really nice and thin. So I used the sugar paste rolled out really thin, but it might be also a good idea to use the modeling paste. That way it'll keep um, a nice solid texture for you to paint on and you can roll that really, really thin. The sugar paste was good because it still kept its elasticity so that you could bend it to the shape of the packet perfectly. I'm just going to be careful to press that down. Then I'm going to start to blend in this sort of flare effect at the top left of the logo. A few more final details I want to add now is some lettering on the bottom. I'm using Spectrum and Flow matte colours. I'm using white. I'm painting with this so I just mix around my paintbrush at the bottom of the bottle and this is a really great strong white that you can use to paint on lettering um, and highlights and things like that. So adding the tiny details with the white and then I'm going in around the logo and around those images of the potatoes to give this nice highlighted effect. This really makes the images pop out. Again, a few final little details. I'm using the Spectrum Flow water based black to paint these tiny little black details in the bottom left hand corner, which is like your calorie intake, things like that. And then, after I've sprayed the whole thing with a bit of a shall and shine, it's all done. Such an effective, colourful cake, really pops, and it's a really fun illusion. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.